Here we go again. So I wanted to vlog Monday till Thursday this week because I have quite a few things going on. But yesterday I sort of failed. We woke up super late and then we had Chiara's leaving party. She's leaving the restaurant that I'm currently working in. So she booked that. It was super cute. I definitely had a lot of fun. Today is Tuesday and it's also the day that I'm going to get my hair fixed. Finger cross. I've talked about this before, if you missed my last two vlogs, there's a whole thing going on with my hair. I paid £222 to get a blonde balayage. Long story short, my hair is definitely not blonde and the end result was definitely not what I wanted. Also, it wasn't like anything drastically visible from what I previously had. And so I wrote down a whole complaint email and they offered me a complimentary balayage service and I'm going in today. So that should be fun. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I'll do a happy update for once about my hair, but I'm gonna quickly show you guys how my hair looks now. I'll do a 360 in just a second, but just so you know, it's currently curled. I feel like you can't really see it that well, but yeah, it's not that blonde, is it? <laughs> Here's my little OOD, nothing too crazy. I literally panicked because I was running late and I threw the first thing that I could find. So I'm wearing this Olister hoodie, which I absolutely love. I'm obsessed with the roses on the sleeve. I think they're super cool. Then my mom jeans are, of course, from Primer. And then I'm wearing some Hair Force One, which I know I should clean, but don't come for me. I'm about to go catch the bus, hopefully get my hair done. So, it's definitely been a long day, I literally just got back home, but I did get quite a few things off my to-do list, which feels super good. Hair appointment, check. We only did a rough dry and it's quite dark right now as well, so I think I'm gonna hold on and tell you guys my thoughts in the morning when I see my hair with the daylight. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so most likely I'm gonna be styling my hair as well. Once I left the salon, I actually had quite a few things to do. Go to Primark, check. I mean, honestly, it was a super quick browse. I literally went in and out. This is what I was looking for. 15 denier, 5 pair, leader resistant matte tights in the color nude. And then I found these uh, sports socks when I was at the checkout. And I used these with my Dr. Martins and honestly, they've been a life savior. So grab some of these as well. Next up on my list was to get the IKEA parcel I sent to my workplace home. Question is, how do I take this bad boy with me? I think I'm just gonna put these in a bag or something. Yeah, that works. So, IKEA parcel, check. This is how the bathroom rob looks like. I'm actually super obsessed with it. I was kind of scared because I haven't seen this in person. I literally ordered it online and I prayed for the quality to be good but honestly it feels super nice i'm actually yet to open these up but i think it's gonna love them and then super quick on my way back home i also stopped at my bank santander to deposit my famous cash tips of 2023 and then i also grabbed a mcdonald's all meanwhile i was talking with my best friend over the phone and we were catching up on a few things so yeah i feel like i got quite a few things done but i'm definitely nowhere finished for the day i need to clean my apartment so bad it's literally full of clutter and I'm not cool with that, so we definitely need to get that sorted. It's finally time to replace this nasty towel with our new bathroom robes. Okay, that is much better. I'll admit, I don't really know how to make these look nice and aesthetic, but I guess these will do. I also did go ahead and clean the sink and just reshuffle a couple things, I guess. This little basket is a new addition. I literally found it on the street, but it does fit perfectly in this little spa. I did want it to paint it white, but I didn't get around to do it just yet. Nice and clean, super tidy, and I reorganized that bit as well. I don't think I've introduced you guys to the new addition to this family yet. This is Lily, a new bag. I'm hell obsessed with her. Also, how cute is this little pot? Adorable. Okay, I know I probably should have washed it first, but 
I just took a shower. I'm wearing my new shower robe and I'm just feeling so bougie. Not gonna lie, I'm obsessed. I love the color and also it does feel very nice. So definitely turns up. I did end up cleaning the flour, which makes me feel so good and also made myself a little dinner. I wasn't too hungry, so I just roasted some gnocchi. And I think I'm going to spend the rest of the night trying to DIY a Valentine's Day card for my boyfriend. Okay, so happy Valentine's or Galentine's Day. I'm not really sure if Valentine's the day before Valentine's Day or if they're both on the same day but either way it's the following day and my boyfriend is currently out of the flag as he's getting his hair cut and I thought this would be the perfect Really? Literally I was mentioning him and he called Hey But one so, as I was saying, my boyfriend is currently out trying to get his hair cut. Apparently, the first place is closed. So, he's gonna go and look for another one. And I thought it was the perfect time to show you guys how my hair looks. And now, I literally just styled it. I think it looks kind of good, but let me do a quick 360, shall we? Okay, so what do we think? I do think it looks pretty light on camera. I think it's slightly darker in real life. I'm pretty sure also once the toner fades, it will look a lot brighter. Is it what I originally asked for? Definitely not. If you're caught up with the old story, you know that this was my inspo pick and so you can definitely see the contrast between the blonde and the dark on the top and i feel like i don't really have that everything is blended nicely but i don't really have that contrast is it better than what i was left with the first time that the girl did my hair 100 percent. so i guess i'm gonna take the win again everything was complimentary so i did not pay a single penny other than the 222 pound that i originally paid to get my hair done overall the old thing was still quite expensive but i'm happy that they actually did my hair again because now it looks better again it's not really what i asked for but it is a bit blonder than what my hair looked like and I feel like once my roots start to grow again then I will see a bit more of that contrast hopefully so that's the hair update the little bangs that I'm really getting used to I kind of like them wish it was a bit fuller so I might fix it myself and add a couple more chunks of hair in there but that's a job for another day Oh, I almost forgot. Since I have you guys here, let me show you guys what my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. I mean, they're literally huge. He got me this beautiful bouquet of flower. I'm literally struggling to show it to you. Be random, but I also got me these. I think I mentioned this already, but we have a little dinner reservation at 5.15. Which I know it's super early, but honestly I'm glad because it also means we won't be out and about until late, which I'm super happy with. I'm definitely gonna bring you guys along for that. Okay, so this is the fair. Ami? Hey. Ready? Okay, jacket is on, time to go. Good morning, how is everyone doing? I literally had the best night yesterday. I'm so glad we ended up booking an early spa because we were like home at around 8 and we watched Puppy Love which has been on my bucket list of film to watch even before it came out so 10 out of 10 definitely will recommend I love Lucy Ale and everything she does I think it's just simply perfect oh my god the restaurant itself 
whoa 10 out of 10 the location was stunning the place itself looked very good and the food as well was pretty good we ended up going for the 30 pound per person set menu and so there was a bunch of like tabas to share and then we got to eat to choose one main so i ended up choosing the fish one and then my boyfriend got the pork and they were so good literally we recommend our bill ended up being kind of expensive but that's because we got two round of drinks and then we also got a dessert on top of that but if you just go for the menu itself i feel like that is a reasonable price range of menu oh and the bathrooms this is generally unbelievable what nice surreal Oh my god, it was stunning. I literally spent like 15 minutes having a little solo photo shoot in the bathroom because it was gorgeous. You could literally see the whole entire London through the windows and the windows were like massive. And I've been to places like the Shard or Sky Garden and let me tell you that restaurant just for the view is close enough to those two places. Definitely recommend giving that a go. Anyway, as we discussed, it's the following day and I do have quite a few things on my list today, but first, I'm gonna make a coffee. You know what? I mean, is it too early to drink alcohol? Yes. Am I still gonna put a bit of this rum liqueur in my coffee? 100%. Honestly guys, if you haven't tried this bad boy, you totally should. Add it to your coffee, it tastes amazing. Gorgeous. Cheers. Even the sun decided to come out. Whoa, that is simply giving. Okay, so it's a couple of hours later. I realize I never show you guys my outfit, although it's nothing special today. I'm literally wearing my little sweat set that I got from H&M. I'm obsessed with it. Today is definitely a bit of a chill day. I got quite a few things to do, but I don't have a lot going on, which means that I got mainly computer work, and so I decided to wear something comfy. Even my makeup, I feel like it's super basic today, and honestly, I'm leaving for it. We made crepes yesterday and I had some leftovers and so I ended up warming those up adding some cheese and salami. Yum, that looks so good. And that was pretty much my lunch. And then I've pretty much been editing for the last few hours and I'm in a good place with that but I'm not finished whatsoever. I was meant to film a main channel sort of video, like a proper sit down video where I go through my old lyrics, like the ones that I literally wrote down on paper. I thought that was a fun video to film and I'm still gonna do it, just not today. I'm just postponing it. But other than the editing, I need to pack my suitcase today because we're going to Liverpool. We're leaving on Tuesday, but I'm pretty much gonna be double, 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 double for the next four days and so I won't really have time to pack my suitcase and that's why I want to do it now but I'm probably gonna do it off camera so I figured I could end the vlog right here I really hope you guys enjoy it if you did of course be sure to give me a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and with that being said I'll probably see you guys in Liverpool so bye